the Weatherby's Hamilton Handicap Chase is next. This is a four miler. It's a naught to a hundred, and it's a four miler. It's only got four runners in it. So, might hear a lot of waffling this time. Blanche Neige at the top for Alex Cherry. Diamonds for Obi Wan. Irish Tony for Craig Beckwith. And LOLA Lola for Padraig Hogan. So, four horses, four trainers, one commentator, and. Oh, there we go. No fireside chat when he well is. I suppose this time, even though I've got a horse in it, I can still have a fireside chat with Obi Wan as they get to the first, and they're all safely over the first of 23 fences. 22 more to take, and let's hope they all get round and we get some sort of a spectacle. But it's Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, who is in the lead. Hello, LA Lola is in second with diamonds and then Irish Tony at the back for Craig Beckwith who I think he's having a pretty good week this week he certainly had a good day one I was mostly on the flat I think but he certainly picked up some big races and he's certainly having a good week it's Blanche Nez in the lead for Alex Cherry and Patrick Hogan in second with LOLA Lola which when I first saw that name the first time I thought, oh, goodness me, what's that, what's that called? And then once you work it out, it's actually one of the nicest names to commentate on because it just rolls off the tongue quite nicely. So Blanche Neige is in the lead. And safely over the fourth from LOLA Lola next. And the Irish Tony and Diamond's just tucked in the back of the four. Get over number five, they're all safely over that one. Making their way towards the next in the rain. Blanche Neige in front. Irish Tony second. LOLA Lola and then Diamonds. Past the winning post, then they've got two more circuits to go. Nez is in the lead from LOLA Lola and an Irish Tony and then Diamonds. Just the temptation is always when these long races are on with few runners in to start making suggestions and stuff and then it all sort of dawns on me after I've done it there's only been three or four people listening to it so I might as well have not bothered because there's probably a, an audience of four listening to this would have been fine if Alex Cherry's horse had been trained by somebody else because Alex would have had to watch it to handicap it but he's watching it for his own horse as well so we're down to four maybe Grey watches them when he puts the audio tracks on that we send him I don't know I can't imagine there are that many people who sit and watch all 79 or whatever races is we have a week regardless of whether they've got one in it or not Blanche Nez is in the lead. And then LOLA Lola. Oh, I made a bit of a mistake there. LOLA Lola. LOLA Lola. Just drops to the back. I'm guessing the handicappers are probably the only people that do watch every race, and maybe even they don't watch them all as they get over the next. Some of them they just watch bits at the beginning and the end or something. Rather than the whole thing. Get over number nine. I can't imagine what benefit it would be to the handicapper watching a four miler from start to finish. I just want to watch the. Perhaps they can watch it on fast forward. I don't know. Anyway, Blanche Ness is in the lead. Diamonds is in second. Irish Tony's third. And LA, LO, LA Lola is fourth. I haven't got too many of these small fields anymore now with the. Stables being increased, it's definitely bumped up the numbers on most of them. I think the only reason that this one is as low as it is is because of the rating. It's a to 100 and not that many horses rated that lowly at the moment. Looking back a few seasons ago, there seemed to be a lot more rated lower. So maybe there could be a, an argument for bumping the ratings up all the way, but across the board but that wouldn't necessarily do a lot of people any favours if those 0 to 110s became 0 to 120s it would really 
rule out the point of them, wouldn't it? So the odd small field is not a problem, and it's going to give one of these horses a chance to rattle up a victory as they get over the next. And it's done, I suppose, what it's supposed to do because it's kept all the top trainers out of the race, isn't it? There's nobody in the top six or seven of the trainers list for the jumps in this, and that's the point of it all. So it's probably best left as it is. Blanche Ness is in the lead then for Alex Cherry, Irish Tony second for Craig Beckwith, and then LOLA Lola for Padre Hogan and Diamonds for Obi Wan. Those two share in third at this point. So they're going to come up past the winning post then. Just one more circuit to go, which will be less waffle than the last two, I think, because we might get a bit of a finish on the cars for a final three furlongs or so. All the jumping's been good so far. They've managed to get over 14 of the 23 without mishap. And Blanche Neige is in the lead. Well, Irish Tony second. Yellow Alley Loader on the outside of Diamonds. All four of them still in touch. All within five lengths of each other. And the top weight Blanche Neige has been in the lead all the way. Irish Tony is second. Hey Lola and Diamond's just at the back. Oh, the jockey was looking around on that one. There's nothing behind you, mate. You're at the back. Anyway, it's Blanche Neige in the lead from Irish Tony second. Then LOLA Lola and then Diamonds. Right, the 15th and the leader went right through that one, Blanche Neige. It's the first really serious mistake we've seen, and that's allowed Irish Tony to go into the lead. Now, Irish Tony just in front of them, but Blanche Neige being pushed along to get back into that. Prominent position now, LA, LA Lola comes around the outside as they take the 16th, and the field is really close now. Three lengths first to last. And Blanche Nez is just in front of Irish Tony. Hello, LA Lola on the outside, and Diamond's just behind them in fourth. All over the next, racing down inside the final seven furlongs now. Still got a good five or so to go. Over this ditch they go. Diamonds is a bit slow at the back, but he's still close enough. Irish Tony just in front. Over the 19th they go. All safely over that one. Four more to take. Irish Tony just in front. Blanche Nez on the inside. Hello, hello, hello on the outside. Diamonds just two or three lengths of drift, but switching to the outside to try and make a, a move. I don't think it was quite necessary to come quite as far wide as that, but he's done so anyway. And Blanche Nez is in the lead by half a length. To Irish Tony in second and LA, LA Lola third. Then comes Diamonds back in fourth. Over that ditch they go. That was the 20th. They've just got three more to take then now. And it's Blanche Neige and Irish Tony from LA, LA Lola in third. Then Diamonds in fourth. Now the race is on in earnest as they come down towards the business end of the race. They've got three more to take. This is the third last. Irish Tony landed in front from Blanche Neige in second. LA, LA Lola is back in third. Diamonds is still there in fourth. They're racing uphill towards the second last then now. And Irish Tony's in front. Irish Tony from Blanche Neige. LA, LA Lola is next in third. Over the second last they go and they went right through the top of that one Irish Tony and that's left Blanche Nish back into the lead Blanche Nish is back in front from Irish Tony and LOLA -L -L Lola they've got a furlong and a half to go they've got one more fence to jump and it's Blanche Nish comes to it in the lead stood off it Irish Tony jumps it better LOLA -L -L Lola looking woefully one pace it's Blanche Nish in the lead he's pushing on them now and a furlong to go the top weight's looking strong at the moment LOLA -L -L Lola is beginning to grind down the other two but it's Blanche Nish holding on on the inside LOLA -L -L Lola on the outside Blanche Nish is in front, needs the line to come. Is he going to come in time? I think it probably is just. It's going to be Blanche Nez from LOL and then the Irish Tony and then Diamonds. And all four of them got round and finished within five lengths of each other. That's the top weight just proving the best. Showing why he was the top weight, grinding out a win. LOL and Lola just couldn't get up any pace at all, was gradually grinding down the lead, but not quickly enough. And over four miles, Blanche Nesh takes it for Alex Cherry. Hello, LA, uh, LA Lola for Padraig Hogan was second. Irish Tony for Craig Vickers was third. Diamonds for Obi-Wan was fourth. And interesting enough, then we had co-top weights, didn't we? Three of them on 100. Uh, just the one on 96. So a uh, pretty interesting sort of race there on a heavy going as well. 
Four miles and a win for Blanche Neige and Alex Cherry.